What is going on, everybody? So PCE inflation came out and then the number is a little bit worse than expected. Let's see what's going to happen on the next Fed meeting. This actually is the most important Fed meeting we can pay close attention to. The reason for that is if they decide to stop raising the rates means that they feel they've done their job. If they decide to keep pushing, then they go on a summer break and let's see what's going to happen to the inflation. This might give some more ammunition to some people of the Fed that they are more like hawkish and they want more aggressive measures. They want to keep raising the interest rates. What is PCE? is a measure of measuring inflation that excludes food and energy, right? Because food and energy fluctuate a little bit more and then they indexed a little bit heavier in the CPI data. PC is a little different. It excludes food and it excludes energy, right? Now, what happened is that today these numbers came out and then they came out 0.4% month over month. The expectation was 0.3%, right? And then what happens is the market are still running today. The reason the markets are running is because they say that McCarthy and the Republicans are about to come into an agreement with Biden that they're going to decide to actually raise the debt ceiling. So when it comes to the debt ceiling, they're coming closer to an agreement. And that's because, of course, none of these two sides, non-Republicans or Democrats, want to get blamed for the US defaulting on their debts and not having enough money. So as you guys can see, I mean, they're going to come close to an agreement. No side wants to get blamed, especially since the election year is right out the corner, right? So they saying that they're coming close to an agreement. They say they're going to give like 3% spending power to defense. And they decided to add funding for the electric grid and renewable energy. The problem with P PCE inflation is that it's stuck and it seems to be a little bit sticky around 5%. And then the Federal Reserve, it actually weighs more the PCE inflation over CPI. The reason that that is, is like I said, this is more indexed towards, you know, measures that we actually see and care more about. It's not just food, which might fluctuate according to supply and demand, like everything else, or energy, which is like gasoline prices, right? And what we know is that the Federal Reserve actually pays close attention to what the PCE inflation came. The reason that the market is shrugging it off and it's green today is because uh, we're going to have an agreement over the debt ceiling between McCarthy and Republicans and Biden. Another thing is that, you know, NVIDIA blew past expectations by Mayo with the earnings and then the AI power. Everybody's excited about NVIDIA again. Literally, NVIDIA turned out to be like a startup. Kathy Wood sold some NVIDIA at the worst point. There is some pain points on NVIDIA. It's a very exciting company. It turns out to be an exciting company again. That's what we want to start investing in right now with investments around this time period. If the Fed is done raising rage, which I'm pretty sure it is, but you never know. This is the time Well, growth stocks like Tesla and NVIDIA are absolutely going to outperform the value stock, the Warren Buffett way. If you had all the money right now in Berkshire Hathaway and the Warren Buffett way to keep all your money in value stocks, now is the time to cash it out, dump it into growth stocks. Again, this might not be a 100% advice for you, but this is what it's shown to be happening again and again. Growth stocks are outperforming value stocks every time, you know, the Fed stops, the Fed stops raising rates and then by the end of the year, the interest rates are going to be dropping. Now, let me tell you another thing about recession. They keep mentioning on the news about how recession is going to be down the road ahead. Am I recession a quick recovery? Do you know what's the news here? You see, a recession, whilst you are in it, you don't feel it as much as when you're going at it, right? So we are looking at a recession ahead, but the pain is right now. The pain is right now where the Fed is trying to prevent that like hard landing still, right? This is the situation where you're going to get the most pain right now. The stock market is going to start doing better. The real estate market is going to start skyrocketing again while you're in the recession. While you're in the recession, believe it or not, you don't feel it as much as, as you're heading towards the recession. This is something that people don't talk about, but believe it or not, the most pain is right before you enter the recession. Whilst you are in it, you don't feel it as much because the, the Fed has already taken the measures to stop the inflation from going out of control, has already taken the measures to actually stimulate the economy. You'll see that next year, they're going to start saying, let's start lowering the interest rates to start stimulating the economy again. That's why you have to adjust your strategy according to the right time, according to what there is ahead. Even if there is a recession ahead, like people are kind of like, you know, looking towards it. The most important thing to know is that while you're going through a recession, things are not that bad. But as you're heading towards one, this is where you feel the maximum amount of pain. Now is the time to put all your money. Like I said, the stock market is going to start recovering. Asset classes are going to start doing better. Now is the time to put more money into growth names. Now back to the PCE numbers. Okay. The numbers proved no relief by the Fed officials. It says in Inflation is much too high and persistent, according to the minutes. Here is a few takeaways from the Fed's May meeting, okay? They said, Policymakers appear divided over whether further interest rate increase would be necessary following move to raise benchmark by a quarter percent point. So they raised the benchmark, like last month, they raised the interest rate from 5 to 5.5 percent because the inflation is sticky and stubborn. Some officials saw additional tightening as likely warranted, while several figured it might be time to stop hiding minutes stress uncertainty in outlook, right? So you see uncertainty in the 
outlook, but they start hinting, especially the most Davish member. Davish is when you're like a Dav, you don't want to really be aggressive. Hawkish is like you want to go in there and like change things right away. So the Davish members of the Fed, they hinted that they're going to stop raising rates. Now, again, ultimately is a decision that they're going to have to make very soon because on June uh, 13th to June 14th, they're going to have that meeting. This is good news that they're actually talking about, you know, taking a breather and taking a pause and see where the economy is heading. Policymakers emphasizing communicating a data dependent approach. Some officials stressed that the statement shouldn't be uh, interpreted as signaling rate cuts were coming nor ruling out further hikes, right? A timely increase in the US debt limit is essential to avoid the risk of several adverse dislocations in the financial system and the broader economy, okay? We know that they have to come to an agreement. Nobody wants to get blamed by this. And lastly, Fed staff reiterate forecast for a mild recession starting later this year, followed by a moderately paced recovery, right? As I told you, while you're in a recession, things are not that bad. When you're heading towards the recession, you feel the maximum amount of pain. That's why we've been the past four or five months, because the Fed has been trying to stop this sticky inflation. The Fed has been trying to stop the economy from the prices overheating and from things being out of control. Now, do they push too hard? They broke a few banks. They did some things, you know, like all these are signs that their measures are working. And this is the most important meeting on June 13th to June 14th. What is going to be decided? Okay. Now, this is a good one. It says the latest rise in inflation could provide ammunition needed for the least some members of the Fed open market committee to push further rate hikes during the June 13th to 14th meeting. Odds for another quarter of a rate hike are 56%. That's going to be very interesting. And if they don't do that, the stock market is going to skyrocket because actually the odds are more than 50%. They're going to they're gonna do another rate hike. If you want to hear my opinion, I really think they won't raise the Fed's interest rate again. And the reason is that after that, they're going on vacation. I mean, it's expected, especially when people go on vacation to overspend. People overspend, so of course, you're going to have higher inflation. Prices are going to come up because the demand is higher. So every summer, prices and inflation seems to be ticking up usually. By the way, here it says, with Friday's PC report expected to factor significantly into the Fed's ongoing debate on whether to pause or continue rate hikes, the latest numbers indicate the central bank job of getting inflation down isn't over. The core PC rate is viewed by the Fed as the best predicator of future inflation trends, okay? That's the thing, like I said, they put more value and they put more weight on the PC over the CPI numbers and the PC numbers came worse than expected by 0.1%. Lastly, the big picture, the most recent inflation readings aren't making it easy for the senior officials to decide whether to do a rate hike or not. Inflation is still far too high, they say, or it's not coming down fast enough. The increases in the PC indexes are likely to add their worries. The Fed might still decide to skip another increase to give itself more time to gauge the effects the past rate increase in the economy. This is literally all you need to know. Things are lagging. You cannot make a decision today and expect it to happen tomorrow. There is lagging in the economy. We're heading towards the summer season. People are spending more. The PC measure came a little bit worse than expected, but chances are they're going to wait and see what's going to happen during the summer. If all these decisions they've been making are going to slow actually the economy down fast enough and the inflation is going to start dropping. This is going to be an interesting time. Stay tuned and see what they're going to do at this Fed meeting. If they stop raising the interest rates, the stock market is going to be the money making machine we all expect it to. I love you guys. I'll catch you soon. And I just want to give you the heads up. I'll be switching up the content a little bit. I'll do some more content soon. I love you all. If you have a subscribe already, hit the subscribe button. I'll catch you guys soon.